Hi, I'm Dr. Kaplan at Helios Telemedicine for Men. Today's topic is what is estradiol and why is it important in men? If you're just joining us, you can catch up on our prior videos on the website at heliostelemedicine.com. Most people think that testosterone is male and estrogen or estradiol is female, but in reality, we all have both. In men, estradiol has effects on libido, erectile function, and fertility. It is detected by the hypothalamus, which reduces its stimulation of the pituitary gland, which reduces its release of LH and FSH, which reduces testosterone release from the testes. If there is overstimulation of estradiol receptors in the penis, it can lead to erectile dysfunction. If there's too much estradiol in the blood, it can cause thickening of the internal lining of blood vessels and an increase in your cholesterol levels, resulting in, in a higher risk for heart attacks. But if there's too little estradiol, it can cause bone loss and osteoporosis with its increased risk for fractures. Most peripherally circulating estradiol is made by conversion of testosterone by enzymes in the fat cells called aromatase. If there's too much of this enzyme, there can be too much conversion contributing to reductions in testosterone and elevations in estradiol levels. Other factors which can raise estradiol include stress, overuse of caffeine and alcohol, some medications, and some herbs. Also, as hypogonadism is treated and testosterone levels rise, there will be an increase in the amount of testosterone available for conversion. Symptoms of elevated estradiol include moodiness, tearfulness, loss of concentration, hot flashes, acne, hair loss, erectile dysfunction, development of breast tissue, swelling of the hands and feet, and weight gain. If you do have elevated estradiol, the best thing you can do for yourself today is to reduce your alcohol and caffeine intake and lose weight. Medications like anastrozole and supplements like DIM block the aromatase enzyme. Some foods, vitamins, and herbs also block the enzyme. So, estrogen is important in men, but it has to be in the right levels to provide us with good health. Next week, we will be discussing sex hormone binding globulin and how it is important in testosterone levels. In the meantime, you can get started with our complimentary self-assessment questionnaire on the website at heliostelemedicine.com and you can follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook at Helios Telemedicine for Men. Thank you for your time and attention. Until next week, goodbye.